Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we celebrate the solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ the King. Today we come to the end of the church's liturgical year and from next week our attention will turn to the season of Advent and our preparation for the coming of Christ. When the great Pope St. Pius X was elected Pope, he chose for himself the motto to restore all things in Christ. In Latin, instaurare omnia in Christo. And he is the one who gave us the feast which we celebrate today the Feast of Christ the King, and may it restore in our hearts and minds the desire to be united with Christ. The Gospel of John today and the others break our ideas of what kind of role the Kingdom of Heaven will have. God who loves us in Christ Jesus and who has made Jesus King of all, shows us that ruling others is serving them as a slave, as one who takes all of their burdens on himself and who is willing to die for others. This is a King who comes in humility to save us from ourselves. We reflect and pray along with the repentant thief, Lord Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom, that our Lord might give us a response someday or even today. We hope he will say, you will be with me in paradise. We learned as children that the God who made us, made us to know him, to love him, to serve him in this world and to be with him forever in the next. And that's where we hope to be. On this last Sunday of the church's year, the church invites you and me to look upon Jesus, upon Christ our King, the King of truth and life, the King of holiness and grace, the King of justice, love and peace. May our love for the Lord be constantly renewed as we begin the new liturgical year next weekend with the beginning of the season of Advent. As we close ordinary time today with this great feast, May it truly be a renewal for us, a reminder that Christ is King, that He is in charge. He is in charge of our church, He is in charge of our hearts and our minds, our souls, and may we be with Him forever in paradise, as He promised the man crucified next to Him. God bless you all.